now we will see how to uh, practice HTML on mobile. So we will see today creation of table but before that we will see how to load Android app. So that see this is Android app. Okay. So we will see how to load it. So go in play store. Right here Android. A Android app is free HTML editor app. So we can practice HTML on mobile also. So same text can be used in notepad also HTML then head. So we will see today how to create table head then title. Give table give any title this will be displayed on the browser title bar then body now we'll write table tag table now we'll create a simple table one by one one row one column so we'll write td td stands for table data first before that we have to write tr tr stands for table row for creating first row you have to write tr tr stands for table row then write table data td after that suppose we want product number so write pr no product number you can write any heading then next data suppose product name close the td tag and then suppose we want rate ok so we will now close this and we will close the table tag and we will see what it displays how this table is displayed we will first save click on three dots sorry first save give any name but extension should be always dot html for any html file so give table dot html any name you can give so see now this first row is created but it is not having any border so for having border include attribute border so border has so you have to give thickness of the border in value suppose i say 2 so this is 2 ok so you can give any thickness suppose i say 3 save it run it ok so it will be more thicker now we will create another row for creating see now tr tag is closed means first row is completed all the uh, uh, table items should be within td tag now next row again use tr tag tr stands for table row td stands for table data now another row again write tr then next td that is table data now for product number suppose we will write product number 1 close td next table data that is this is for second row and now this is uh, now second column is product number so same way you should write product number 1 then below product name write any suppose computer close this tag then below rate what we want rate of product okay. so write any rate suppose 25,000 close the this now close tr tag that is work of second row is over save it run by this arrow click on this arrow now this is second row uh, uh, okay first row is heading second row is this so one more item we will put into table so this is tabular form of data then again next row you have to use tr tag okay then again write td then we want next now below this product number second data what we want product number 2 ok then write td 
then uh, product name any name suppose keyboard close td tag then below rate i want suppose any rate you can give suppose 3400 close this close tr tag see tr tag you have to include for every new row save it run it see this is second row but what i want the heading should be in bold letter then for that instead of td use th tag th stands for table heading when you want uh, heading to be highlighted so right t h th stands for table heading so right th th okay means first line instead of td right th now see all the headings are in bold letter okay product number product name rate so td tag is used for giving heading in bold now suppose we want to write uh, that is we want heading uh, that is so use caption tag suppose we are writing product details okay you can write any product close the caption so caption can be included when you want at the top of the table it will be automatically center aligned if you want caption